I don't want to suck it, I want this. I'm burning my head, so I'm a rainbow. All right, so 11 low key hilarious things only black people do. Uh, let's see, because I might not be able to agree with this shit. You know what I'm saying? And if you hear some kids, that's some badass kids outside. I'm just saying. All right, let me check here now. Ooh, give me a second. Here. All right, so black people have so many common traits, behaviors, and habits. It almost seems like some things are exclusive to us. Yeah, because our mamas be getting all around the place and then they be adding that shit. We're talking about stuff beyond the cultural pillars of fashion and food. Social media has helped us realize that people who grew up in African-American families and neighborhoods have not had a single unique experience from being ordered to clean your room, your bedroom, when company was coming, despite them having dinner in your room. Not having dinner in your room. That's true. My mom made me clean my damn room when we had company. And they never even went near my damn room. To the paralyzing fear of realizing you forgot to take the chicken out the freezer. So your mom could cook dinner. Oh, God, don't you ever do that. That's your ass. She going to talk about you like a dog. There are plenty more anecdotes that make us, you know, black people in both comical and shake my head ways. Check out 11 examples. Number one, chirping smoke detectors. Y'all can kiss my ass, first of all. Just because my last apartment had one don't mean you got to talk about it, damn it. Assholes. Oh. <sighs> Unbelievable. The toxic trait running rampant in black community is that our our ears have grown accustomed to the occasional chirp of a smoke detector instead of having the initiative one day to change the battery or clean it. First of all, that bitch be chirping when it has a battery. You can kiss my ass. I'm talking about that. Number two, Never putting a purse on the floor. I heard that was bad luck, okay? Kiss my ass. You talking about the, the we were told don't put the, the the purse on the floor. If you put the purse on the floor, you will lose money. Never on the floor. Plus, you could pick up roaches. Whoo, hell no. Not only is it poor etiquette, but it is also taboo to put your plate to place your purse on the floor. Let my grandma tell it. You'll put that purse down and pick it up with no money in it. No, I was told if you put your purse on the floor, you basically are inviting yourself to lose money. Also, I was told that's how people get roaches in their house. The damn roach you climbed up into your damn purse and you take that bitch home and that roach come out. Stove light equals kitchen closed. I never thought about that. If it isn't the smell of bleach lingering through the house, the way you know not to make any more mess or dirt dirty any more dishes is the kitchen in uh, is when the kitchen light stove is on. I didn't think about that. I thought it was more of once the dishes were done, that's it. You done. Don't make no more. Four bizarre forms of laughter. Now that is true. I swear to God, my mom sounds like she's a, a, a what you call it a, um, a sheep. Oh, girl, I like the Afro puffs in the outfit. Thank you, girl. I'm, I took my braids out because I finally got paid, but shit, they didn't pay me again this week, so I don't even want to look at my bank account. Oh, God. So what did they say? You ever seen a group of black people scatter suddenly? No. They may not have been fleeing in terror. They were probably just laughing. Black folks use their whole body and soul when they laugh from toppling over on one another. My cousin did that shit. I couldn't feel the right side of my body for at least five minutes with her big ass. And she's younger than me. Whew. Anyways, uh, where was it? From toppling over to a short sprint. I made a dude run out of the fucking house in Warren Gardens because of my laugh. He was laughing at my laugh so hard he ran out the damn door. I'm surprised that screen door didn't fall off. You'll also notice a distinct type of laugh. My personal favorite is the Windex bottle cackle. It's too contagious not to laugh with them. I have a geeky laugh. I'm going to tell you off the back. It's weird. When you really hear me laugh, it's woo-hoo. So I want to check this website out, Black National Geographic. I need to see that. Anyways, number five, designated kids room at functions. Yeah, that's true. I got kicked out of my whole room. How the hell that work? I got kicked out of my whole room so other kids could go into my room. How? As a victim of having their room turned into the designated kids' room at every dinner or cookout, it was a cookout for me, this one hits home. After a while, the kitchen and living room become active 
Women's fairs exclusive to grown folk business, and one by one, the youngins get sent to another room. It either turns into a mini daycare or a core cousin memory in the making. Yeah, that's true. Fucking piss me off. The parental apology. There is a rare, there is rarely a true apology from black parents after they fuss you out unnecessarily. At most, you'll get one of them standing in the doorway of your room, donning a somewhat somber look, telling you dinner is ready, or asking if you're hungry. That's true. That, of course, only comes after being told to fix your face or your attitude. Take what you can get. True. So true. I don't think my mama ever apologized. She apologized maybe once, and I had to have concrete. I swear I could be a lawyer. Seven, avoiding potlucks. Yes, I was told you can't eat everybody's food. Actually, I was told you can't eat everybody's chitlins. But still, the, it stands the same because if you got too many damn pets and you see every time that person comes around, they shed and ain't that nothing from their house. You can't eat from everybody's kitchen. I've always heard that. Said nearly every black person ever. Don't bother inviting us to the potluck at your work or your house. We are quite particular about cleanliness and the quality of food. If we eat your baked ziti to find out later you let your cat crip walk across the kitchen counters, there will be problems. If I find my cat in the kitchen, I'm kicking their ass. That's all I got to say. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. Eight, longest goodbyes ever. Oh, my God, that's true. Terry can can vouch for that. I'd be on the phone with her ass. We should have been off the phone about 30 minutes ago. And my mom does that shit, too. I'd be sitting up there waiting for her so we can go out. She'd still be on the phone two hours later. Every time a black person announces they're leaving the function, make sure to add an extra 35 minutes onto that. They forgot to hug somebody. They uh, got caught up in a whole new conversation. Inching closer to the door doesn't guarantee they'll actually make an exit. Just wait in the car. I heard that too. If you put your price or uh, your purse on the floor, you might get roaches from someone else's house. Yes, girl. Girl, I was trying to figure this shit out. Someone had to tell me because I was like, how the fuck? You, you got roaches and you have a clean house. And someone told me, you go to a nasty house, they be having roaches. You fuck around and put your fur, you, you don't put your purse in your lap. That's all I'm gonna say. Put your purse in your lap. Cause I, I that's how I found out how roaches get around. Cause I couldn't figure that shit out at all. I'm just like, I don't get how the hell the roach got there. Number nine, light refreshments after church. I don't know what you're talking about. Every time I got out of church, we had dinner. That wasn't a refreshment, that was dinner. Sunday dinner be early as hell. Define light. Fried chicken, mac and cheese, green beans, and cornbread are not light refreshments. That is the perfect cocktail to send someone into the itis. However, after a good church service, those to-go plates hit the spot. That's dinner. That ain't a light refreshment. Who the hell? Number 10, you making me hot with, oh God, yes. I've heard that shit so many times. You making me hot with that jacket on, or you making me hot with that sweater on. I get that one. Take out. I swear to you, you're making me hot. How the hell I make you hot? Only a black person will look at someone else wearing an extra layer of clothing and accuse them of changing the temperature in the room. You could be perfectly comfortable in your hoodie, but for someone, some reason, be ordered to remove it for the sake of someone else suddenly bursting into a hot flash from looking at you. That is so true. I am telling you right now, I'd be sitting up there in my comfortable jacket. I don't want to come out my jacket. And my mom would be like, why are you in your jacket? You have to leave? No. Well, take it off. You're making me hot. What? You're the one sitting up here running around with the damn house feeling like the South, no, the North Pole. I wonder, number 11, adding S to non-plural words. What the fuck y'all mean? You see that, Costco? What is Costco's Burger King's? JC Penney's, I'm guilty of the last example. Sometimes the extra S just makes the world the word roll off your tongue better. But for the sake of grammar, we must admit we are wrong. Will we change? Probably not. I don't know what you're talking about. I say Burger King. I say Costco. No, I do say Costco's. I say Costco's. I'm going to Costco's. I do say that. I'm going to JC Penney's. I do say that. I say I'm going to JC Penney's. I'm going to Burger King. No, I just say Burger King. I'm going to McDonald's. I do say I'm going to McDonald's. I do not go. I've never been to Chipotle. They say Chipotle. I've never been there. What is Aldi's? Oh, Aldi. Aldi's. Yeah, I say Aldi's. Nordstrom's. Yeah, I say that. Panera's. I've never been there. What the hell? Y'all get on my nerves. It's plural. It's plural. Let me know. 
I'm confused. Well, those are the 11 uh, things that apparently we be saying, and some of that shit is kind of true. I ain't even going to lie. That is actually good. Thank you for paying attention to us, I guess. Uh, I didn't think about that. But now we into the god dang, um, we into the uh, celebrity point. And I'm telling you right now, it is 8 o'clock. All the motherfuckers outside. I swear, they outside. Kids, kids outside. But anyways, and in the hallway. These motherfuckers ain't going to school, I guess. 